Hey there guys and welcome back to F-Zero GX. In the last part we did chapter 1 and 2 of the story. Now we're on to chapter 3, High Stakes in Mute City. So let's see what kind of crazy misadventures Captain Falcon's up to this time. He's just cruising through the city, going to a nightclub in his favorite race car. Where a bunch of all the other F-Zero racers are apparently getting piss-ass drunk. So yeah, what's Falcon gonna do there? What a scam! That's a two million space credits! Ha! What can I do with this one coin? You're the famous Falcon! He's, I beg of you, enter the bet race. What? Where? Please, consider it an old man's last request. Just calm down. We will shortly be closing registration for the next race. The, the next race is going to start. Hey, where do you think you're taking me? Wait. So the old man gets Falcon in a clown's outfit and has him enter this betting race. Yeah, this story really does not reflect the tough guy Captain Falcon that was kind of created in these Smash Brothers games. I mean, come on. An old man yanks him away from the bar, dresses him up like an, like an idiot, and forces him to enter this race in order to win money for himself. Dude, Falcon, when did you become such a pansy? And also, apparently, a whole bunch of the F-Zero racers that were just seen getting piss as drunk are now suddenly driving their race car all of a sudden. So yeah, apparently there's no kind of police in the F-Zero universe that checks for DIYs. Or DUIs or whatever the hell it... Yeah, I think it's DUI. Driving under influence. DUI, I think it is. Anyways, this mission is really not all that hard if you're somewhat decent at racing. If you've played some of the Grand Prix on higher difficulties, you'll find this one to be pretty easy. Let's see, look in the fifth place, the freaking dinosaur's there, even though he was just like emptying a whole bottle of alcohol into his stomach. But then again, we don't really know anything about dinosaur's resistance to alcohol. So yeah, he might as well still feel freaking fine. Anyways, the track's riddled with all these crazy booster jumps, which can kind of be used as really handy shortcuts. Like if you go over them when boosting, you'll really get somewhere. But yeah, we're getting up to the final lap and I'm in fourth place. So I need to step up my game if I want to win this. But hey, I'm Captain Frickin' Falcon. Of course I'm gonna win this. Eventually. See, now I'm in first. But, okay. Luckily we get an energy refill. See, the track's really not all that difficult at all. Oh crap. The drunk dinosaur's overtaking me again. Now I'm back in first. And on the final turn, yeah, I got this. Come on. Come on, I got this one. Oh yeah, beat it on the first try. Totally awesome. So yeah, chapter 3, really not all that difficult compared to the other ones. Now let's go check up on the old man. Here, this is your share. Take it. Once again, Black Shadow is running riot in the lightning area. All citizens are advised to evacuate immediately. We repeat, all citizens are advised to evacuate immediately. Oh crap, Black Shadow is creating chaos. They just leave the bag full of money there and get the hell out of there. Because Captain Falcon does not need money. So on to chapter 4, Challenge of the Bloody Chain. Sounds kind of violent and that's what it is. Because this chapter is all about bashing up other people. So yeah, Captain Falcon is just cruising down the freeway. When these guys show up for some trouble. The gangs. Play. <laughs> Guys, the party! 
war is just starting! So yeah, it's on. Captain Falcon against the Bloody Chain Gang. So yeah, this mission is another one of the easier ones. Crush Michael Chain's machine and hit the checkpoint first. Sounds pretty easy. You know, you just have to destroy one guy's... Apparently the gang leader is his racer, so how hard can it be? On a track which really is not all that difficult. So yeah, this should be easy as pie. But then you realize that there's 28 of his goons between you and him. Which you'll all have to destroy if you want to get a shot at Michael Chain himself. So yeah. Your spin attack is your best friend in this one. Just keep boosting to the front. Overtaking a lot of them and you're just spinning and watching them get destroyed as they crash into your rear end. And don't worry about your energy running out because your energy gauge is refilled slightly for each race or you destroy. So yeah, if you boost ahead and then spin and destroy a couple of them you'll get most of your energy back, so no worries there. Anyways, I already took out eight of them, so it's really not all that hard. They tend to die with one well-placed hit. And uh, for some reason, the ones in second to sixth place are pretty weak already. I guess they're crashing into each other as well. So yeah, I'm wrecking them at an incredibly rapid pace. I mean, there's only 10 goons left, including... Yeah, 11 racers left, including me, Michael Chain, and then the rest are goons. So yeah, not really all that hard. We're about over halfway of the track. And I'm down to 4 goons. So yeah, easiest mission ever. I mean, I remember this giving me some slight issues when I first tried it, but after when I replayed it now, it's really not all that hard. I mean, come here. There we go. Now we still have like freaking 7,000 meters to get rid of Michael Chain. Also, pay attention to the awesome background music for this chapter. It's like awesome remix of the big blue theme which sounds really cool and you can actually buy it and use it on all of the big blue tracks in the Grand Prix but you have to enter a cheat code first so there we go problem solved Michael Chain destroyed his entire gang wiped out and we still have like thousand meters to go to the finish line so yeah another mission beat on the first try so yeah, job well done. And wait, I thought I destroyed all of them. Oh no! After Falcon! Don't lose him! Go! Go after him! What are you doing? So yeah, the Pansy Gang hightails it out of here in Falcon. is just like, later losers. And he's just moving on to the lightning area. So that's chapter 4. And now chapter 5, save Jody. Now this is another excruciatingly hard mission. Even though after countless hours of trying I managed to beat it on very hard. But even beating it on normal is quite an accomplishment. Because if two is a problem, this one's a huge problem. Are you alright? Judy is still inside the building! Wait there. What the hell were they even doing here in the first place? And apparently the place is going to blow. Oh crap, that cannot be good. Time to get the hell out of here. And that's pretty much your objective. Get the hell out of here. The power plant's gonna blow. Escape within 50 seconds. And now you think... Oh, General, how can that be hard? It's a straight track. Well, just wait and see. I can tell you now... That the remainder of this video is me trying to beat this chapter. 
How's that for you? So there we go, you're already going full speed. Three, two, one. Apparently someone's counting down for some reason. And yeah, booster will be your best friend here. The green capsules refill your energy. And if you m may have noticed by now, there's like blast doors closing all over the place. And I forgot that those were there. And that's probably going to prove very costly. Crap. Ah, man. You can pretty much... It's pretty safe to say that if you hit any of these blast doors, you will fail the mission. Because you need to keep going at full speed the entire time if you really want to beat this. Ah. And it's so it requires such precision turning. It's just incredibly hard if you're going at high speeds. I actually did that one pretty well. So yeah, we're never ever gonna make it. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, I really, really hate this mission. Yep, we failed. Time's up and we blow up. Fishing mailed, no. Okay, I guess it's time for... Wait, we get an automatic retry, not even a choice? Ah, uh, crikey. Alright, let's just see if we can pull it off this time. Just keep boosting ahead. If you're going fast enough, you can pretty much skip these ones. And I think we need to turn here. Okay, that went well. Then turn there. Ah, crap. Well, I might be able to recover from that. Still nudging the doors there. Okay, get the boost capsule. That went rather well. Ah. Oh, close one again. This mission is really not good for your heart. If you have heart issues. Not that I have heart issues, but... If you do, you might not want to play this mission. Far. Yep, I'm screwed again. Although, final stretch and then they give you lots of boost pads. Oh, and I crash into the damn door. And the door starts to close if you have like 10 seconds left. So it becomes even harder to get out of there in the, night, in the nick of time. So yes, take three. Hopefully I'll be able to pull it off this time. Otherwise I will rage. Rage is guaranteed. Go slightly to the left. And whoa. That was a messed up turn. Crap. Ah. Well, we'll just keep trying. Crap. Okay, we can pretty much say this is an unsuccessful attempt. Get the capsule. Of course not. Okay, now it's really a messed up attempt. There's really no way in hell we're ever going to make it now. But I'll just keep it going because apparently you guys like to hear me bitch about stuff. So we have three doors in a row. That one actually actually went pretty well. Hmm. Well, actually I can still make it maybe. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we made it. So yeah, there you go. That was another one of the... That's probably the, the second hardest mission in the game. So yeah, the building goes BOOM in a freaking mushroom cloud. And, of course, we made it out in time. Of course, we're racers kind of cooked, but... <coughs> there we go, you take care of Jody. We have someone else to take care of. And why the hell is he dancing around like that? Falcon's angry. Is he going to punch someone? Just wait and see in the next part of F-Zero GX. So see you guys then. Bye-bye.